Hi, my name is Pilar Ibáñez. I'm the author of the book In Rain Fire. Today we're going to use this environment to give you some advice to have a happy life. Today we're going to talk about how to deal with breakups. So, today you're going to learn that there are five stages or phases that you have to go through during a breakup. The first one is the stage of denial. When you are saying, I cannot believe that this is happening to me. Afterwards, you're going to feel a lot of anger because you are very angry about the situation. Then you're going to have a phase of negotiation. Afterwards, you're going to be very sad. And at the end, you're going to have the acceptance phase. That is that when you are going through the breakup and you are almost in the other place, you're going to be very happy about it. The first stage then is denial. And when is the, the denial stage, you are always thinking what is going on. You cannot believe that all the love that he has for you vanish overnight. So you are asking millions of questions of, on what happened in this situation. What I did wrong? Didn't, didn't I know what the situation was going on? Is he going with another person or not? So it's a stage that is very complicated because you don't know really what is going on and what is happening. This stage is super important that you know that ego is the one that is making you have a lot of filters to make you feel very bad. So don't worry, but start, start being very careful about the ego and what are all the, the different kind of thinking that you are having in this moment. So don't worry, this is part of the stage. After that, you're going to feel very angry. You cannot believe what is happening to you. You're going to be angry with God because you think he's the one making you suffer. You're going to be angry with your parents because you feel they don't give you good education to know what is going on in relationships. You're also going to be very angry with your friends because you normally talk to them and they tell you, oh, I know he was like that. And then you are asking them, why didn't you tell me what was going on? So don't worry, you are going to feel a lot of anger. This is normally in all stages of breakups. So it's very important that you know not to blame other people from the situation. It is very normal to feel anger, but don't blame the people and don't become a victim because you, in this stage you are always becoming a victim because you feel that all the world is against you. And that is not true, you are generalizing. After the, the anger stage, there is come the stage that, that is very complicated, that is the negotiation stage. And I like to call this phase the what if. Because you start to ask a lot of questions on what if he calls me again? What if he is with another person? What if I go out of my house and he called me? Or I didn't answer my phone and he finds another person? This is a very normal stage, but you have to very be careful because this is the stage where you're going to have a lot of anxiety. And, ans and you have this anxiety because you are always predicting on what is going on in the future, what is going to happen. So don't predict. If you want something to, to be done or to happen, make it happen. But don't start to predict of what is going to happen in the, in the future. After that, because it's the more phase that is very complicated. After this phase, the negotiation one, it comes the sadness. And this is a stage where everybody goes through. It's very normal to be sad. If you, ha if you have to cry, my advice is cry. Don't worry, cry if you have to do it. Do it in your home or with your friends. But don't start to feel like, oh no, I cannot cry because I'm very tough. If you start doing that, normally the body is going to be very sick. So if you have to take all this energy and this bad energy out and you have to, to be with your friends and be with them and, and cry, don't worry, it's a stage. Be sad, enjoy it, but don't become it. One thing is to be sad and the other thing is to be, become a habit of being sad or being in suffer phase all the time. So be careful with that because one thing is to be sad and the other thing is to become it. After that, you come into the final phase, that is the acceptance one. And it's when you start to accept what happens in the situation. When you realize 
and you analyze the situation and it's very important in this one advice that I give you is that you start to make a list on what happened and then make a list on what, they, what you learn about the situation and start to take out all the positive things that this situation is going to make you a better person and what of this situation is going to help you to improve yourself. And with this, you can next time when you have another breakup or when you have another uh, relationship, you're going to give your, your best part of your heart. It's very important also to know that when you are very anxiety, uh, if you have anxiety problems with, because of a relation, it's because your levels of cortisol inside your brain are going up. So it's important and I give you the advice to have a list of habits, of good habits that are going to make you very happy so that the levels of dopamine, of dopamine goes up and the cortisol goes up, down. So it's very important to start to do things that are going to make you very happy. If you like to go and do yoga, do yoga, or to go hiking, or to go dancing, or to go uh, partying with your friends, it's very nice if you do things that make you happy to take down the cortisol. Also, for the next relation that you're going to have, I give you advice to make a list of values and characteristics that you would like this person to have. In doing this, it's, it's very nice that you will find out that when you have a list of things that you like, this person will come to you because you are kind of making him come because you are asking the universe to bring you this person. So make a list of the values and characteristics. Make also a list of the things that you are and you like to do and you will, do, you will see that this will improve your life and you will be very happy. So I hope this all the advice that I have given you make you feel more calm and make you feel more happy and start to have more relationships that are more like in harmony with you and with your heart. Remember that everything starts when you ask and we will see each other in our next program. Bye.